Hi there. Welcome. Welcome to this meditation class. This is a class for meditation. This is a class for you to meditate. And for me to meditate. And for us to meditate together. I'm crawling inside your head, contemplating the ever-expanding universe. Does that sound creepy? That was creepy. That's not supposed to sound creepy. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. I've already messed this up. Sorry. Shit. Sorry, Shay. Let's start again. This is a class for meditation. This is a class for you to meditate. And for me to meditate. And for us to meditate together. Shay, where are you? I'm here. With you. I'm thinking about the ever-expanding universe. What are you thinking about? You're probably thinking about your... Um... Okay, so... I've never taught a meditation class. I've also never really meditated. I mean, I listen to tracks on YouTube and stuff. But I thought maybe you'd like to do a meditation class during these times. And I thought I could lead you through it. Um, I want to be fully transparent. I googled a meditation script in order to do this class. It's for children, and I thought that you might like that it's... 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 That it's... Lately, I've been having a hard time, uh... I've been having a hard time, like... I've been having a hard time. <laughs> There's something nice about me just being a voice. I feel like I can tell you anything. Anyway, meditation. Right. Close your eyes. Welcome to this meditation for uh, children and adults alike. The hot air balloon ride. Okay. Um, right. Oh. Go ahead and close your eyes and allow yourself to relax into the present moment. Begin to pay attention to a body part that you don't usually pay attention to, like the space between your toes or the skin behind your ears. Focus on that part. Noticing how it feels. Checking in with it for the first time today. Good. Now, take a slow, deep breath in, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. <sighs> Take one more breath in through your nose, letting it escape out through your mouth. Beautiful. Now, 
Think about a current situation that you do not like or would like to have a solution to. See yourself standing in the middle of the situation or in the middle of the question you have. Now, look up ahead in front of you. Sitting there is a giant, hot air balloon waiting just for you. It is a gorgeous, brilliant color. The perfect color for you today. Or maybe it has a picture on the outside. Imagine it just as you would like it to be, decorating it in a special way so that you know the balloon is for you. Now, step out of the situation picture you were in, knowing you can come back to it in a bit. Walk over to the hot air balloon and get inside the basket. Take a deep breath that fills up your whole belly. And let that go. Let go of all of it. As you let it go, you go up, up, up in a hot air balloon. Up, up, up over all the other children and uh, adults. Up, up, up. And you are floating amongst the clouds. Below you is your problems. It's very strange to be a voice with no body. Shay, I never thought I'd be the type of person to send voice memos, let alone a voice memo with a meditation track that lets you hear inside my head. You don't need to reply. I know you're listening. You don't need to reply. There's something about putting my thoughts out in a time and space that feels meaningful right now. Shay, I've been thinking. It's all I do now. Or maybe it's all I've ever done. Wow, that's a pretty good line. Forget I said that. That was dumb. Anyway, Shay, I don't know. Yeah, I... I've been thinking. I've been thinking about you. And I've been thinking about me, and I wish that you could feel me thinking about you, but you're... Meditate. You are in a hot air balloon. Take a deep breath. Breathe in the air of the sky, of the clouds. You are just floating above the world. Above me, even. Can you see me? I'm waving at you and wishing you luck on your adventure. Can you see me? There you go. You are in a hot air balloon. There you 
go. I should be thinking about... You are in a hot air balloon. I should be thinking about the... You are in a hot air balloon. I should be thinking about your... I shouldn't be thinking about thinking, or how I'm thinking the wrong thoughts, or how you don't call me like you used to on Friday nights, or how I'm worried I'll be alone forever, or if I have enough clean underwear, or if I'm too much of a jealous person, or if why I feel like I have these big, big, big thoughts, but I can never articulate them in the moment. I should be thinking about your... I should be thinking about anything other than myself. I should be thinking about your... Meditate. You are in a hot air balloon. Ah, balloons. Big, big balloons. Baboons in balloons. Focus on the big Bad baboons in the balloons. Okay, meditate. You are now floating way above your situation, the one you want a solution for. You are no longer part of the situation, but can still see yourself in it. You have the ability to see many different options. You begin to feel yourself have a big picture viewing point. You can see all of the other things related to the situation. You can now see the situation from many different angles. From way up above the earth, you are looking down on the situation. What do you see that might be different? What do you see about yourself in the situation? What are all of your options? Allow any new ideas about it to gently come into your mind. Now, imagine that you are balloon, safe, secure, and comfy balloon carries you a little into the future beyond the current time of the situation. What would the future you want yourself to know about the situation that you are looking down upon? What would be important about it? Listen to what your wise future self has to say. Shay? It would be nice to hear your voice, but don't worry about replying. It's fine. I'm fine. It's fine just to keep putting my thoughts out in space. Surely they'll add up to something. Surely my thoughts mean something. I'm thinking about you. I'm trying to think about your... Shay, I've been thinking about... You were up so high, and you were invisible to everyone. And I am down so low, and... Shay... It would be nice if you could see me. If I could hear your voice. It would be nice if you... Shay. It would... I have these really big thoughts, and I don't ever know how to... I wish that you could feel...
feel me thinking about you. Where are you? Shay? Okay. Meditate. Now that you have listened to your wise future self and you have gathered the options that are... Now that you have listened to your wise future self... Now that you have listened... So, I don't know about you, Shay, but I'm feeling the script is a little... uh, generic. Like, I liked it when I read it to myself, but now I'm reading it out loud to you, and it's like, oh yeah, go up in a balloon, look down at all your past problems, that will fix everything. Oh yeah, just name your little problem, like, oh yeah, I see, oh, you know, a giant pit of doom. <laughs> just go in a big-ass imaginary balloon, and everything will be better. Balloons don't make your life better. Balloons are not real. Well, technically, balloons do exist, but yeah. You're alone in this balloon. You're all alone, and you go higher and higher and higher. Do you know how many people die in a hot air balloon accident each year? One second, I'm looking it up. Okay, so it's not that many. It's one and a half. Which doesn't even make sense. I hate fractions. There are probably a lot of unreported hot air balloon deaths. Because, yeah, you get in a hot air balloon, and you just go up and up and up until no one can see you. You are invisible to everyone you love. You are so high and so far away. You are just a voice with no body. I've been having a hard time thinking about... I've been having a hard time thinking... I've been having a hard time because... Jay, you're about to have a baby. And I want to, and I'm trying to, I'm thinking, I don't want you to be in a balloon. I want you here, but you're in a balloon and I'm in a sinking ship. My body is a sinking ship. You used to notice me when I was sinking. You used to notice me sinking and you'd get a whole bunch of scuba divers to come down and haul out my treasure and my big old clocks that used to strike. And then all the scuba divers would haul up my whole body, my whole body, my whole body. Maybe that ship was never that beautiful in the first place. Maybe it was never a beautiful ship and everyone wanted it to stay deep, deep down. Maybe it was full of rats and plague and sadness. I'm sinking and you're up in a balloon and you're about to have a baby. Like an actual baby. Like that baby is getting born into a kind of fucked up time right now and then everything will become about the baby being born in a fucked up time. But maybe it's always been a fucked up time and babies just keep getting fucked up because of the fucking times. Maybe the baby is going to be a sinking ship too. I'm, I'm sorry I said that. The baby is going to be fine. It's going to be beautiful. It's it's going to be <laughs> I'm 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 I really need someone to talk to and I don't know how to talk about it because obviously you having a baby in these times is more important than anything I'm feeling. I should be thinking about your baby. I want to be happy about your baby. I want to be happy for you, but I don't know how to think about anything other than myself right now. And I just spend so much time in my own head and I just can't even conceive of a new life like a new human. I really want to be there for you, but I don't even know if I want to be there for you or if I just want you to acknowledge me because I'm afraid of being forgotten about. I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'll disappear deep, deep down and that you'll disappear up, up, up into the... Shay.
I'm thinking about your baby. I'm here. I'm here with you. Wherever you are. I'm here. 